Hello, I'm Runia, aka Media Adaptation, and welcome back to a moderation where all means for a game. And it's Wednesday, so that means it's time for more webcomics. And this time, we're going to be continuing our look at the webcomic Glitch. The story of a girl named Alice, who one day got shot in the head, but then met a very strange, I'm hesitant to call him a person, called Chad, who promised to fix everything, if only that she would wish it to happen. So we pick up right where it left off, with her finally regaining consciousness. April! You're awake! What happened to me? You were shot! You're in the hospital right now. Are you still gonna stay at Grandma's? What are you talking about? I'm staying right here! What if something were to happen to you again? It's good that she's alright. It is good. After a few hours after I woke up, I was bombarded with interview after interview from different news channels. What did it feel like when it happened? How did you know the robber would try to hurt the clerk? How did you deal with the robber? Well, getting shot in the head and surviving was a miracle. I couldn't give an answer to the reporters, because I didn't have one myself. Even doctors and detectives asked me questions about what happened. They were very interested in my case. The bullet went through one side of my temple and out the other. The wound is about one centimeter wide. Even though I was shot at such close proximity, my brain hadn't been damaged. It's completely fine, despite the fact a bullet went through my skull. After spending three days at the hospital, the doctor sent me home, because they couldn't find anything wrong with my brain. There was no rehab needed. My parents asked me to stay home, but I was eager to get back to school. I have to wear a wig. Will I be able to look anyone in the eye? What if someone stares at me? What's wrong with you? I'll have to say it myself. Oh no, they're looking this way. Hey, wanna join us? Did you get a haircut? Gosh no, April has a head wound, remember? So, it's a wig? That's super fashionable right now, you know? Sorry we didn't visit you at the hospital. After I got out of the hospital, my life became unexplicably better. When was the last time I had friends to talk with? Now, I'm really happy. Dad and Mom started to talk nicely to each other. They stopped taking it out on each other. It's the first time in several years that we get to watch TV together. It's been such a long time since the last time I slept well. I wish this happiness stays with me long. What? You haven't finished your homework? Then you're shamelessly copying me like this? I don't think you're going to complete it in time. Of course, I will finish it in time. Oh wait. I probably won't. This is so freaking overload. Teacher's coming! Your voices are so loud I can hear from the outside. We're running out of time. Return to me, I'm submitting my homework. No! I wish the teacher canceled this class! Hello all, have you all done your homework? Hand it to me. Why does the teacher run? I've never seen a rush out of class like that before. Did she forget to bring her stuff? Probably, she'll return soon. Oh right, this is my chance, Anne. Let me see your homework. I didn't expect you to be the type of person when I asked you to be my friend. Finally, you made a wish. Are you satisfied? What I've seen is something I can't explain. What's before my eyes seems unreal. But somehow, those eyes look alive. I thought your life was so perfect that you didn't have to wish for anything. But I recommend you make the wish to complete your homework at home next time. So, do we have a class? 
Did he just walk past through? Seems like it's not convenient for us to talk now. Talk to you later after class is in. Hey, the teacher said she had bad diarrhea and can't make it to class. Class cancelled. Yes, that's perfect. I I haven't done my homework. Neither did I. Yeehaw. Why don't you guys finish your homework? Hey guys, it's too loud. Go talk after class. April, have you finished copying my homework? Yet, I feel like I've met him somewhere before. Would you like to go home early? I could help you, but my company doesn't condone time traveling. I sort of half remember a weird looking man appeared in my dreams. Probably I'm still dreaming. Time sure is passing slowly. Wouldn't you like a more elegant meal for lunch? Like the one served at boutiques. I can call it for you by magic. Don't you want to sit on a washlet? Please don't come in here. He's always with me. But I just pretend I can't see him. I'm not even sure if he's real or just a hallucination. He follows me everywhere, even after class. It's making me uncomfortable. Where's my privacy? Hey, when will you be alone? I would like to explain things to you. Just hurry up and tell your friends. You need to run an errand. Let's go somewhere just the two of us. Sorry, I need to go back home and help my mom arrange some documents. Looks like I can't go to the department store with you guys. Is that so? What a pity. See you tomorrow then. Bye. It's been only a few days since you became friends with these three, right? Seems like they don't feel as much pity. For you as they say. We're alone now. Could you please just introduce yourself, mister? Hmm? I think I've told you already. My name is Cadwalla Teradid. I'm a salesman for the Blue Screen of Death Incorporated, responsible for granting ten wishes to our clients who signed a contract with us. We've already met in your dreams. When you... Oh, it's you. I sort of remember your long name and strange job. Long name? Strange job? So, what are you? You're not a ghost, are you? You're almost there, so to speak. You're probably right. Normally, when you no longer want to keep your files, you'll just delete it from your computer, right? Uh-huh. And... Do you know where those files go after you deleted it? Hmm. It should have been removed by the computer system. And then? Uh, isn't a file supposed to be permanently removed from the computer? What? You really don't know? Seems like you really know nothing about computers. I thought I could expect a better answer from you. Why do I have to stand the salesman being pissed at me? The deleted file should no longer be stored on the computer, right? You're correct. That once the file has been permanently deleted, it cannot be recovered. But it won't completely disappear, like what you think. The file that has been permanently deleted will then be turned into a creature called Glitch. Glitch? We live in Yadabite world. The after-death world are the files that have been deleted by humans. In our world, there is no childhood, senescence, nor death. Sounds like your world and my world are not related at all. They are related! People in your world create us by deleting files! I see, I see. You're scaring me. So, what are you? The souls of erased files? But files aren't living things. Something like that. I could float, walk through walls, and haunt humans. What? Haunting? That's freaking scary. <laughs> it's quite easy for me to commit a crime. Do you still have business with me? I need to go home. He seems scary. I want to escape. Huh? 
have you forgotten the wish contract? Remember, I've explained everything to you in your dream. I have to be by your side till you made ten wishes. Then I wish for you to go back to where you came from. That's no surprise. Well, I can't do that. The contract clearly states that I need to grant you all ten wishes before I can go back. Then give me crepe, beautiful clothes, new cell phone, the latest video game, new watch, etc. Does she hate me so much that she's going to complete all her wishes within one day? Don't you want to wish for something important? Just in case something bad happens? For example, when you're lost in the jungle, when a burglar breaks into your house, or if you have someone you admire? There's, there's no one I admire. Alright, I'll think about the wishes more carefully. There is one. Then we're business partners now. You are April, right? Just call me Cat. I know you can't remember my name. From now on, just tell me if there's anything you need. Hmm? It's morning already? Hmm. Come to think of it, I feel like something weird happened yesterday. I half remember a strange creature following me home, talking about wishes or whatever. Probably just a dream. How could something like that happen? It feels weird around my head. I'm still not used to it. Why does the doctor need to shave my head? Alright, today's Wednesday. I need to wear my gym clothes. Ah! What the hell is this? You've forgotten me again. I am Cadwallader Teradad, a wish salesman. Since we've become business partners, you can just call me Cad. Wait, you were watching me sleep the whole night? What else can I do? I'm not permitted to leave your side. Just kidding. I am a gentleman. Plus, I prefer a flat chest. Want to reach school within a millisecond? Speaking of which, aren't you rushing to school? I'm dreaming, aren't I? If this is a dream, hurry up and wake up! But, come to think of it, several weeks ago, I was shot in the head. After that, I went to the hospital. The surgery went well, and the brain MRI results showed that my brain was fine. There was no bullet found in my skull. It passed through my head, according to a witness testimony. The police questioned both the witness and the robber. The witness testified that she saw the robber shoot me in front of her eyes, and the robber admitted to it. The CCTV recorded shows that the exact same scene played out, just like the witness said. After I was released from the hospital, all the journalists, detectives, and research doctors from several hospitals had been calling me asking for the interview. I always try to avoid it. Perhaps? Your clothes are so plain. Want some top brand name clothes? This weird creature is probably my illusion after being shot. If so, that means my brain has actually been shot. I couldn't get up in time before they left again. This is similar to how things were before. Are they still fighting? Your parents left. But you wish for all three of you to be together, right? If so, would you like them to finish work early so you could be a big happy family once again? Just like your previous wish. You're just my illusion. You can't make it happen. By the way, you're alone now, right? It's normal. I'm used to it. Great. We have to talk. Yesterday I forgot to do my homework again. Hmm? What happened to you seems so unbelievable that you don't really think I exist. So, you think I'm your imaginary friend? If so, to ensure you of my existence, I'll grant you one wish free of charge. 
it won't be deducted from your contract. What do you think? And that about does it for this video. If you have any other ideas like seeing me into a video, then please post it down in the comments below, and we'll add it to our next video request week. It's now time for the part of the show where we ask you to help us appease the YouTube algorithm by dropping a like, share, or comment. It helps out much more than you'd think. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then it's very much appreciated. And if you'd like to support this channel, then please visit our Patreon. The link will be down in the description below. Even if you can't give a lot, every little bit helps. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Anyway, I'm Runya. And I'm Ada. Remind you to take life in moderation. Weep not for children, for life is this way.